to Sister Circle Live. My next guest has <laughs> lip gloss popping back in the day. But these days, you can catch her on the small screen on Wee TV's Growing Up Hip Hop. Plus, she's an amazing actress. Yes. Take a look. Hey, what's up? I'm Natia. Little Mama, Kirkland. I am known for my first hit single, Lip Gloss, being the judge on America's Best Dance Crew, and I'm known for crashing stages. I am as trouble as trouble gets. I am the party girl. I am the turn up queen. I can now. <laughs> it has been 10 years since I debuted my first album. It's time to release another one in 2018. And I think Bow Wow can teach me how to maneuver and be professional and get things done. Yes, and as yes. Selena said, amazing performances as Left Eye and Felicia Blakely. Yes. She does it all. Please welcome Natia and Lil Mama Kirkland. Yes. 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 Come on. Be careful, baby. Whoa, come on. Whoa, there you go. You look beautiful. You look absolutely you so gorgeous. Much. You too. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you so much for being yes, here. Yes, for having me. Yes. Lil Mama here, Selena. Ooh. Mm -hmm. She here, child, with a pink on. She looking yeah. sharp. Yes, she looking sharp. So you got a birthday coming tomorrow. Yes. You're turning up. You yes. talked about it down to the dressing room. Uh -huh. Yes, we did. So where do you plan on going for your birthday? I'm going to Vegas. <gasps> <laughs> oh, yes, God. Yes, yes, God. yes God is good. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be turning up. Yes. 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 yes, I am. Yes. So you are now on the on the uh, next season of Growing Up Hip Hop, mm -hmm. which is very, very fun, which is very fitting. Yeah, it is. Because people need to remember that you started out hip hop. Yes. yes. Okay. What was your conscious decision to do that? Well, being in the space that we are right now, mm -hmm. I feel like there's been this, excuse me, there's been this uh, void in connecting directly with our fans. Mm -hmm. You know, we had to go to the label to talk on the phone to people in Japan right. and Spain and overseas and just, we tried, we had to reach out to people through someone else who right. is now with social media and things like that is direct yeah. to consumer. If you want to be a millionaire right now, it's one, you're one step away. All you mm -hmm. got to do is believe in your dream and make it happen, wow. right? Yeah. It's the same way with reality TV. Before, it used to be a thing where it was like, oh, I'm a star. I would never. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, if you want people to know who you are it's and marketing. you want to yeah, get out mm -hmm. there and let them know, hey, I'm, I'm still here. This is what I'm up to. I know it's crowded, but I'm okay. Yeah. Right. It's yeah, the yeah, perfect yes. platform. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I'm like, yeah. And I grew up hip hop. Right. Mm -hmm. So Speaking of growing up, but you grew up in New York. I grew yeah. up in New York. <laughs> New York. New York. <laughs> what Sun, you doing? You're doing loving Sun, hip hop. I mean, not loving hip hop. Growing Sun up in hip hop, hip -hop Atlanta. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how did that all come about? And why did you decide? Hey, why not? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. When I was 17 years old, I wanted to give up my mm -hmm. passion for music mm -hmm. and just go and get a retail job, right? Mm -hmm. Selling clothes as a merchant. And my dad was like, no, you know, we got some good guys, hired some great managers, and we came out to Atlanta. And this mm -hmm. is where I recorded Lip Gloss yes. and a bunch of other records that my fans grew to love and to know me from. So I thought, why not come right back here to the base, to the foundation, and get my next project yeah. up and going. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm here. I'm back, baby. Good. Yeah, that's yeah, right. good. Awesome, awesome. Now switching gears just a little bit. Okay. It's Breast Cancer Awareness yeah. Month, and I know that your mom passed from yeah. breast cancer. Yeah. How has that shaped you as a woman, and mm -hmm. how has that made you a stronger artist? If, well, a better artist, stronger artist, if it has made you either one. I think that my mother ascending when I was at such an early age for me, it was at a, a, a prominent time in my life where I would have wanted that person, my mom, to teach me about womanhood, mm -hmm. you know, how to, how to be a lady, how to be a lady for not only my family and to hold it down, but, you know, to a husband someday. And yeah. then, you know, I'm sure when I become a mom, I'll have questions then. It's, it's like never ending, right? Right. right? So for me, I think that the journey was raising myself mm -hmm. because there was a standard set with my yeah. mother. Okay, good. And so I have to you know, seek counsel in women who I feel walk in the same type of shoe. You yeah, know? I, I see that you um, you spend a lot of time with MC Light. Yes. Does she help mentor you a lot yes. in this area? This MC area? Light, Jada Pinkett, yeah. you know, Tashina Arnold, yeah, she was just Tisha here. Campbell. Mm -hmm. There's so many women in Hollywood, but there are very few who actually take the time out to reach back wow. and pull you up. Yes. Wow. And, I, and I'm very appreciative of those women because while people may think that everyone has it easy and it's picture perfect, mm -hmm. these are women dealing with issues themselves, Absolutely. but they take the time out to, you know, give mm -hmm. me counsel and help me right. through my problems yeah. as well, so I appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about how your amazing acting career is really 
just really skyrocketing right yeah, now, betraying a uh, left eye who was very yes. personal to me. I was her personal assistant way wow, long ago. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. Thank you. I and love meeting people like yeah, that. Yeah, knew her, right. Incredible. But you, and when I saw your, how you portrayed her role, it was spot on. Mm -hmm. I mean, really spot on. Can you talk about the left eye role and also the Felicia Blakely role mm -hmm. that you did that was phenomenal? Amazing. Wow. Well, yeah. my mother was a, a movie fan addict. Okay. So we watched all types of genres of film, from the professional to Beauty and the Beast, and they both taught us about moral and value and principle, right? Mm -hmm. But they also taught us how to dive into an experience mm -hmm. and to live in it and let that moment um, be real yes. and right. be honest, even in character. Like, right. what does it mean to me? And I think as an actor, that's something that I've, I've held on to from watching movies into now actually being in them. Mm -hmm. It's important to tell someone's story, be vulnerable, and no matter how bad or good it makes you look, be okay with the outcome. So, yes. You know, when we come back, we're going to have more with Little Mama and we'll talk some music, so don't go away. Yes. yes. <laughs> My boo game looking like my shoe game looking like my boo game looking like my shoe game looking like my boo game looking like time I'm on the carpet they at me by my shoe game who you digging get it at me by my boo thing I tell them two things I tell them mind yours cause anything you see I got you know I grind for it hey, hey. oh <laughs> we are back with little mama look like big mama yeah. okay the newest cast members <laughs> from WeTV's hit show growing up hip hop mm. you know, this is a, a jam. Mm, it you. is. Shoe game. Looking That's like it. my boo game. And looking you, like, you know, gotta keep killing them. You know, I wrote this record just in, in, with the inspiration behind, you know, when a woman says you can't walk a mile in my shoes. Mm. And, you know, these when the shoes are, are, are big to feel, yeah. you know. That's it's deep. about integrity. It's not just about the shoe. It's, it's not about just about the shoe. Right. It's about integrity. It's about can good. you walk in my shoes? Yeah. That's my shoe game. Yeah, that's yes. my shoe game. That's cold. You yeah, know, so. that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So. How are you going to be down to the growing up hip hop? To growing up the hip hop. That's how you gonna, how you gonna, gonna be? Right? You know what I mean? No, I mean coming into the city. For me, you know, it wasn't like being an actor. Mm -hmm. I know that when I have a set job to act, I'm ready to act. When it comes to reality, I want it to be as transparent, as vulnerable, and as honest as possible. Yeah. So there's some new people that I have to meet and get to know. I can't just hop into a situation and say, oh, we're best friends, mm -hmm. because that's not authentic. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm also transitioning from rap into R&B, so I get help from like Kelly Price, mm -hmm. and she's just a beautiful spirit coming in to help me. And I'm, I'm just, I'm yeah. just feeling it out. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, well, we're she loving it. You, girl. Yes, you. we love it. I would love to. Yes. Well, you know you got, I'm here for you. Uh -huh. Absolutely. I appreciate Should it. make it happen. Well, thank you, little mama. You thank are amazing you. and thank continue you. success on everything. Make sure you catch uh, the premiere of Growing Up Hip Hop, We TV on October 11th. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV.